Hey everybody, welcome to Abundant Source Raw. And in this uh, video, I'm gonna show you guys how I eat pineapple with my bare hands. Uh, and I'll also share a little bit of information on pineapples from my own personal experience. Uh, but I just picked up a couple of pineapples today uh, and I rarely ever eat pineapple because I live in the city uh, close to Dallas, Texas. And um, it's really hard to find decent pineapple. Almost every store I go to, just uh, they're all green and unripe. And uh, it's very hard to find some decent pineapple around here. But uh, I found some that are halfway decent. Uh, it's nice, uh, pretty golden compared to a lot of the other just green pineapples that you see in the store. Um, it's got a nice top. So when you're picking pineapple, what you should know is that most pineapples are picked very, very, very early, unripe. Uh, they're supposed to be a nice golden color all around. They really shouldn't have much green on them other than the stems. But for those of you that didn't know, uh, the average pineapple takes probably 12 to 18 months to fully ripen. And when you first plant the pineapple, you only get one pineapple per plant. So it uh, takes a lot of time and pineapple growers really save a lot of money by picking their pineapple very early and a lot of the time you'll get pineapples that are picked months early sometimes six months or more uh, early so you don't want to go for those sometimes I'll get lucky and find some decent pineapple so aside from the color uh, you can usually tell it's good uh, you know you can smell the bottom of it where it was uh, plucked and should smell sweet this one really isn't even that great either um, it doesn't have a great sweet smell to it, but it's better than the average pineapple. And another thing is, uh, with the top, the leaves here, uh, if it's ripe, then you should be able to just take one of the middle leaves and just pluck it right out. Um, even this one gives me a little bit of resistance, but not nearly as much as uh, one of those green pineapples that I'll get. But uh, yeah, if it's really ripe, then they should just pluck right out with pretty much no resistance. So I'll just... Uh, get right into it. First thing I do is it right off. And then, um, and also the riper they are, the easier they're going to be to peel. You know, these green ones, it's very hard to peel unripe pineapple, but as it gets riper and riper, and especially once it's the most ripe, then it, it gets pretty easy to peel. Uh, and then I just take my fingers and start peeling. This one might actually be pretty tough. It's still not that ripe. Once you get the first part peeled, it gets a little bit easier. And any fruit that we're meant to eat can be peeled with your bare hands. Uh, you know, melons and anything. Like you see these cantaloupe melons at the store in the city, and they're gray and they're like hard as a rock. And that's not, you don't want to eat those. Those are not ripe. Uh, for a ripe melon, the, it should look golden as far as cantaloupe. And it should smell really good. And uh, you should be able to just press on it. And it should feel like you can just easily slip your finger right into it and uh, cut it open with your hand. This pineapple here is still a little tough, it's still not very ripe. And also as far as the sting that you get from pineapple and the bleeding, the irritation that you get, uh, I've found from my own experience that most of that is just due because it's so unripe. I mean, most of these things are like months early and unripe fruit is not good for us. We should not be eating unripe fruit. It contains toxins and poisons. The plant doesn't want you to eat the fruit before it's ripe. So uh, you gotta wait till it's ripe and everything's been converted to sugar. All the toxins have been converted to uh, nutrients and edible substances for humans to eat. But if it's not ripe, uh, it's gonna be really toxic to us. And most of these pineapples are very unripe. And so when I actually find some good pineapples that are pretty ripe, 
you know, I'll eat three of them at a time and be fine. Usually three pineapples is what fills me up. And I'll just grab them if they're really ripe, peel them up. It's uh, a lot easier with really ripe pineapple. And I'll just dig in and they're so sweet and delicious. Not like these pineapples, you get into them, you cut them up and they're all white. You know, if the, if the uh, flesh is really white, don't eat it. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be very sweet. It's going to sting. It's just super unripe. Go for the super golden pineapples. And I just eat it like this. And uh, so if they're really ripe, I can eat three at a time and not get that sting. And uh, have my mouth not bleed. Whereas normally you'll go to the store and get some pineapple and uh you know you can only eat half the pineapple before your tongue goes numb and you start to bleed so make sure you're getting ripe pineapple that's why i really don't eat a bunch of it even though it's really one of my favorites i love pineapple but i just uh can't usually find any decent pineapple so that's how you do it um, and then you can just eat it like this, like corn on the cob, I guess. This one's still not super ripe. Right? And I ate one before I did this video too. <laughs> it made my tongue a little numb, but I really wanted to do this video. So I ended up just opening this one and showing you guys this. But yeah, you, you can find pineapple so unripe. And I've just learned from experience, bad experiences, pineapple can mess you up if it's unripe. I've had one of the worst stomach aches ever from eating a bunch of pineapple. And it was, uh, you know, kind of on my early raw journey. I really didn't know much about food combining, about uh, sequential eating, anything like that. So basically what happened is I, I can't remember what I ate. I was probably still eating quite a bit of nuts and seeds at that time. So I don't know. I might have had like some nuts or maybe a salad or uh, maybe just some denser fruit and then I ended up eating some pineapple that wasn't really ripe and um, I just woke up I mean I already that night was not feeling good I could feel it just like the toxins the poisons my just my stomach just didn't feel good and I ended up waking up in the middle of the night at like four in the morning like cringing and just terrible pain and um, so that was like a really bad experience with pineapple and now basically I pretty much never eat pineapple unless it's the first thing that I eat is if you eat some something else you know denser foods that don't or are going to digest as quickly as the pineapple the pineapple is going to get kind of backed up and stuck and those toxins are just going to build up uh, and you're not going to be able to digest and uh, excrete them as quickly and it's just going to kind of sit in your stomach longer and cause a lot of irritation. See, like with this pineapple, my mouth was already going numb. This one really wasn't too bright, but oh well. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I love doing videos like this. I love eating my food like a human being is supposed to. It feels great the way nature intended it. So, if you like this video, if you like the content that I put out, Please uh, like and subscribe, and we'll be putting out some more videos. And thank you guys so much for watching, and have an awesome day.